hi everyone and welcome to my channel and today I start with uh, this Opal which I featured on my shorts and also on my Instagram and I was just about to actually expose the color bar that goes around this stone it just looks like this most magnificent crystal from Cuba and it's a big stone it's 80 carats and as I was planning my video for everyone to face this and see that beautiful bar well there it's two bars this one is quite subdued on top here but it's all about this one that goes all around this town and many of you commented on my socials and YouTube to say oh, I'm looking forward to see what's behind it and as I was going to do the video this was on my site for sale in a rough form and as it happens life's got different plan it's old so this one is gone in a rough form the way it is I'm hoping that the client will maybe if I'm lucky if we're lucky show us what's in there yes unfortunately we can't see what's inside of here have a good idea I think everybody has and knows this opal we'll see it should be very very clean inside and I hope the client will uh, make some money and also have lots of fun facing and cutting this one to a giant stone or uh, multiple ones um, and because they've been a really good client uh, I'm gonna chuck a freebie yeah just for you to guys see this is lighting rich I'm not sure it's got good colors but you know it's not clean it's also a big standard and it's bright in there look at that so they will get that as a surprise in the package so but for us I need to come up with a different video since I can't cut that stone so let's go and see if I can find another one we can face that everybody will enjoy all right so I found one I found one instead of the big chunk I think this one it's not as big I weigh it in a minute but it's got as you can see wow 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 yeah the color is very very good it is a Cuba and it is dark crystally under that skin very interesting to see if that color will go all the way through there or not look it's got the color here seems to be going around there it's a bit of a sand dirt here but it looks like it's going there so it's on both sides of the stone it's not much on the tip here but it probably will go under under there so you know it's always a risk with the rough isn't it and this is a um, $800 stone so there is a bit of a risk here it's not you know it's not the most expensive opal as far as the opals ago but for me it's a fair price to pay for a gamble opal um, it's on the dark and that's the key to it the key to it is if the color goes through here because it looks like it goes deep but how deep it goes on this side so what we might do is just take the skin off face it clean it up a little bit and see if this uh, crystal Cuba is worth the money or 
even better, might be a good money maker. I suspect if that color goes through and that's a big stone, this would make good money. Um, so let's weigh it up and see what we've got in weight here. All right. It's 37 carats. It's a little bit wet, so call it 37. And uh, I will measure it up. There you go. Let's get it out a little bit. So we've got 35.6, 21, and 9.8 so you can tell it's a decent decent chunk of opal so with not uh, this side's got sand but obviously it's obvious which side we're gonna go from it's the color is just sitting right under that so it's a no-brainer this one mind you it could throw a few surprises and if the color is not under there well i'll be very disappointed with that and on the flip side very happy with um with the opal if the color that beautiful look reds greens dark crystal that if that goes through oh, that will make my day so um yeah and before i forget i just want to thank you all for liking and subscribing to my channel and getting involved really more and more people get involved keeping me busy replying to comments i will not miss a comment i will reply sometimes it might take a little bit of time just when because it's getting busier and busier for me which is awesome so please keep doing it uh, if you like my videos press the like let me know if you want to see something if you've got questions just put them in the comments and um, yeah if you want to see more of it or be notified of my videos as I will make them regularly uh, subscribe please all and right and let's go to the machine and see what's in this beautiful big chunk of opal yeah okay so let's go let's go for it oh by the way you guys can tell me if you like the sound of the wheels and the water i personally really like the sound of opal touching the scented diamond wheels and um yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of the sound of the wheels and the grinding of the opal. So I'm on the uh, 180 wheel and um, just trying to get to the color bar from that edge. But I'm, I'm seeing, I'm not seeing it. I am really, the more I go in, the, that side has no color which makes me a little bit concerned about what's under that skin in the middle um, it's I would love to have the color all through and I learn now that the rough opal can be very deceiving either way when you think there is nothing in it could have quite a bit a nice surprise and other times it can you know the color bar looks deep beautiful and quiet vibrant from the side like this one but it doesn't mean that the middle is gonna have that so I'm just really carefully gonna take that skin off I'm still not seeing the color on the edge there 
Yeah, and there's a bit of a crack there. So I I really wanted to, to I was hoping to get to the Calabar from that edge. But uh, I haven't and I don't wanna go in, so I'm too interested to see what's under that skin. Get a better view. View from the top. The pilot's view. Give me a better idea. And um, yeah, you look, there's some cracks there. See that color is so nice on the side, but the other side it has very little of it. So I don't know if you can see it on the video, probably not, but I'm slowly starting to see that the color in the middle there is not so great. And that thick calabar from one side does not go all the way to the other side, so I'm not sure. See, there is just not much on this side. It's just there. Mm, that's a little bit disappointing. A little bit disappointing. And then that vibrant color bar with that sort of groovies. I'm gonna have to go in there and flatten it out a little bit. Get that sand off. That's a nice color in there. Mm, I don't think we're gonna have a big, huge stone here. There's too many issues. That color is beautiful. And that side, that thick, beautiful red bar is there. Might as well take that in because there's nothing there. Just clean it up. Hmm. I don't know. No, what's gonna happen here? Not that happy. I'm not that happy. I mean, we'll get something out of it. See, the color is really vibrant and great on that left hand side, and the side closest to the camera. But the top there, there's still nothing coming. Nothing. Pretty careful with that 180 wheel here. I'm not putting pressure on. Just slowly, patiently taking a little bit more off. It's no point yet going to the other wheels. Because, yeah, that's gonna take too long. So there's still plenty of Opal to take off here. It's coming through, but it's only on one. Ah, oh, it's coming through. Oh, it's interesting. That milkiness on top, still with the sand. That's cleared up on one side. All right. I see um, some of you have been uh, filling the survey on my community post on which field is your favorite. That survey only lets me give you five choices. I think it's just the YouTube uh, settings, so I couldn't list them all. I might do another one with different ones, but the obvious one, Lighting Rich, is um, it's winning. Yeah, see, the color is coming here. It's, it's still, I can just see one side. There's a part of this opal that doesn't have the full color. 
so it's not gonna make a huge one of all as I was hoping we're still gonna get a stone out of it maybe two see how we go yeah lighting ridge is winning clearly but what's surprising out of the fields that I've put on the survey is Yoa is number two and um, yeah I love the Yoa nuts they are very special and I actually don't have one at the moment wouldn't mind getting a couple of no nice Yoa nuts so that might be I might be seeking that out so yeah thanks for filling the survey and I also put up a community post with my setup and the cost I hope that's gonna be helpful for you guys to see what it cost me to set up my little workroom for the opals and yeah I've gone a bit extravagant on it but not too extravagant you can do it a lot cheaper but I thought I'd be doing it for a while so I spent some money and you can see that in my community posts and here what we've we got let's have a look I can see that it's time for a finer wheel I think we're gonna go to the 600 you can see all the color coming there is still issues there with pochi colorless opal on sides and that whole edge there so anyway well, let's go to the final wheel and uh, see what we can come up with um, so I'm on the 600 and um, yeah this is a little bit less scary because I'm not gonna take so much opal with this one so fast and I think part of the big part of the opal cut is patience not going too fast and sometimes I'm guilty of just hurrying and I tell you what nothing good comes from the hurry okay so you can see that edge see that edge needs to come in because there's not much in there at all there and you've got nice colors red greens blues oranges but looks like because of that edge colorless it's not gonna make a huge oval stone I can't keep it the shape I've got it now or even you know draw a oval on it it's more and more likely looking like two stones one bigger one smaller so I just clean it up a little bit take it in Anyway, I might speed this one up for a little bit. Okay, so this will be what we've got, and I'm already thinking of slicing it. yeah just there and then I end up with that corner one little stone and that and sort of two-thirds of the stone is a nice bigger opal see so I couldn't find my black marker so I've got a blue one but that needs to be cut out so I'm slight I'm gonna draw it for you sorry about the blue but I don't know where my black one went roughly slice it there and up with that side and this corner there two stumps so unfortunate but it is and this is after slicing so we've got that half of the stone free form at the moment and I'm just gonna clean it up from that little bit of sand and milkiness there it's almost done actually and then I just pick this one up and then show you what the two stones or two rubs that we end up with 
It's nice. Okay, so we ended up with two little crystal rubs out of that what look could have been magnificent Kuba crystal opal big jam but it shows you how rough opal can be deceiving even the color bar on the edge in crystal opal could look very rich and dark red once you get translucent or you go under there and get a bit of milkiness like this one uh, the colors fade a little bit also you know different light because there's more light coming to it once you take the skin and the edges off um, still ended up with a happy result as far as you know you, we didn't end up with nothing we ended up with two little rubs which will make nice little gems look let's let's weigh them and actually see um, what we end up here and that was eight hundred dollars that rock they look magnificent it shows you some workout I mean I got some great opals from nothing from two hundred dollar parcels in pre previous videos where I thought there'd be nothing there and um, all Lambina ones um, and they were you know like they worked out really well and i paid nothing for them and here i've spent 800 dollars which i know for good opal is not a lot of money but to sam and to me that's a fair bit of money this is australian dollars i'm talking about ended up with six and a half carats in this one i mean it's a beauty it's translucent crystal it's a little bit more work to make a gem still deciding on the shape of it and then this little one which is let's see that's 1.8 carat so let's say six and one and a half so we've got eight carats you know yeah hundred dollars a carat so eight hundred dollars we'll just get our money back the opal market is mediocre at the moment i mean the opal prices went up but i think that there are not as many buyers so you've got to be conservative of what you're gonna end up with so i didn't do my dough in on this one but it just shows you the risk you take when you're buying rough opal and you think you're buying a nice big gem i mean that part under the skin look like really I thought it's gonna go all the way through and it's gonna make nice big you know 20 carat maybe 15 20 carat oval but it didn't make two smaller rubs eight carats not 15 and it can happen it can happen with the rough we love the gamble we love the work but I keep saying you buy a rub you know what you're getting so if you're doing it for money and if you're doing it as a business or you like shaping or making jewelry i think the wrapped opal is more profitable and you know what you're getting because you can see it so yeah two little gems um if you like this video let me know and um hit the like button make comments or well, maybe you can tell me what shape I should make this one in should I leave all the color free form I mean it's nice or shape it in a traditional shape make an oval out of it um, and yeah if you like to see some more of my videos please join my channel subscribe um, and I if you have any ideas of what videos you would like me to make with what opal or what kind please let me know in the comments below as well okay so thank you for watching and i see you on the next one